Okay, so we are going to implement the node class and I am using Visual Studio 2013. So what we want to do is we want to go to File, O oh, New and Project. Now at this thing that pops up, we are going to create an empty project and let's change the name to data structures tutorial singly linked oh okay we got too many characters we'll just switch it to singly linked list and then hit OK this will generate our project for Visual Studio. Isn't that nice? Okay, now over here at the Solution Explorer, we're going to right click and add new item and since we're going to be creating a class, we want to create a header file. We are going to call this class tnode.h since we are going to be implementing the node for our linked list. Okay, now what I'm going to be writing here, you don't have to do, but it's good practice to do it. Um, it is this comment. Um, the purpose of it is that it tells who wrote it. Uh, that it should also have a time, but I'm not going to do that. And it should have the name of the project and the name of the class that it's in and what this class is intended for. And it is a good idea to write these comments. One, so after, when you come back uh, and look at this code later, you know what you were doing and what this class is for. And if you're working in a team, it also helps the other people who are looking at your code to know what this, what to expect and, you know, from this class and what everything does. So this is going to be our node class for our linked list and its purpose is that it will handle the um, the reference to the next node in the list and it will also handle um, or store data and this type of data can be an integer a string if I can spell this correctly <laughs> and characters or just uh, other objects like other classes. Um, okay, let's get started. Okay. Now we're going to have two um, sections. We're going to have a public and a private section for our node class. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be our constructor. This is the default constructor and it just uh, handles, well it's supposed to handle the default um, definitions of your member variables. Mm 
then we have a destructor. Um, we will not be using this destructor, and, but I always like to include it so I don't have any errors down the road. And then for our private section, we're going to have two data members. The first one is going to be our data, which we will make this a type int. And the next one is going to be a pointer to our next node of type node. So it's a recursive um, class, I guess you can call it, since it calls itself. Um, then we're going to implement or define our get getters to get the data and the node or the next node. Um, so the reason we're doing this is because since our data and our next are private, we want to have helper functions to um, get the data so we can use it outside of this class, which we'll have to do when we implement the list. I'm also going to add this um, overload of the constructor so we can set the uh, new data instead of just being zero like in the default constructor we can set a specific data and pointer to the next object okay so for the destructor it's not going to be used and access the member variable or the data outside of this class and this also accesses the data or the pointer for our next node um, this one stores our int type data and this one is a pointer to our next node in the class or in the list. So now that we have this all set up, we can save and we are going to add a new item. It's going to be a CPP file and we're going to name it tnode.cpp. Press OK. The first thing we want to do is we want to include the header file we just created. And we want to start with the constructor since that's the first thing. This is going to be the default constructor. And we are going to be setting everything to zero or null for the pointer. Next is going to be the overloaded function or constructor. It's going to take in the integer for our new data and a T node pointer for our new node. I mean, new down the next. And then we set i data to new data and p next to 
new next. Then we set the destructor, it's going to be blank because so, we will not be using it. It's <clears throat> and then we're going to do our getters. The first one is the get data, and it's just going to return our i data member variable and our get next which returns p next Sorry if you can see it. There it is. Now we are also going to make a display function to display the data of our node so we can show the user, you know, the contents of it of the list or of each node that is within the list and I'm also going to implement setter functions uh, for set data and set next. Um, correct me if I am wrong, but I'm pretty sure this seems redundant since our data is private and uh, so we could might as well just set it to public instead of doing these sets and gets because the purpose of private is to hide these members from being used outside of the class um, the reason I'm doing this is because during when I was taking, well, I am taking the programming classes, and um, my teacher always got mad at me because I would never set the private data and use getters and setters. And on, I, I believe it's redundant, but I'm I'm still gonna be using it. Uh, if you guys think otherwise, let me know. If you guys know better, let me know. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to implement these new functions that we just got. And since we created the setters, we are going to be using these in the constructors. And for the list, we will need to set our data and null pointer um, outside of these constructors so that is mainly why I'm doing this and I've been told this is a good way to do it but I've seen some article saying that some people say, yeah, it's good. Other people say, it's not good. It's redundant. And so, yeah.
for us to be able to display uh, the data we will need to add two things to this file the first thing we want to add is an include to our IO stream header file and we're going to be using the namespace std <clears throat> and we're just simply going to see out our data and that's pretty much it now save your changes and we are pretty much done with the node class um, I'm going to add a new item and it's going to be a CPU file we're gonna name this main and this will be the entry point of our uh, program we want to include the node H file so we can use this class we're also going to include uh, iostream and we're going to be using namespace std as well here and I'm just going to be doing this so you can see that it works we're going to create a new instance of this object I'm going to call it my node and we're going to be using the new uh, the overload um, constructor that we made and I'm just going to set it to 10 for the data and null pointer for the next because we don't have any other nodes that we want to link this one to and we are just going to display our data Whenever you create a new instance of an object, make sure you delete the object once you're done with it. Otherwise, you will have memory leaks. And it is common for people who start using these and implementing these uh, data structures to have a few data leaks it's not going to harm that much but if you you end up making a bigger program it might crash your computer so this is the end of our tutorial uh, for this for node the next part of our tutorial tutorial is going to be uh, implementing the list and using this class with it. <clears throat>